Hey everyone, in today's video, let's learn how you can convert a date time object into a string in Python. This conversion can be done using the strftime method from the date time model. Um, I'm going to show you an example where we are going to see four different formats. The default output when converting the date time object into a string uh, an output where we format only the date another one with only the time and finally one that combines the two so you are going for going to format time and date in a single output so let's see how it works date which import date time from date time okay let's take the current date we do it with date time dot now all right let's print current date so we can make comparisons um let's show that we are getting the current date here so date to string all right, so here we have, that's the current date for me. All right, uh, so now we are going to format the, only the, the date portion of this, of this object. Okay, so I'm going to take the current date variable, and then I'm going to use the F, strf time method and i'm going to define a format for the output uh, which which are these formats uh, there are many of them i'm gonna leave a a link to the official documentation where you can see all of the possible formats that you can use uh, th this is the link you can see this in the description i'm gonna leave it there but I'm going to copy and paste the ones I uh, use the most so you can have a look. Um, percent A is the format for weekday, percent B for month, percent M for month as a decimal number, uh, percent B it's the month with the abbreviated name and M for the month as a decimal number. Uh, percent D is the day of the month, percent Y it's the year, percent H it's the hour in a 24 hour clock, percent capital M it's for minutes and, and percent capital S it's for seconds. All right. So uh, for dates in the first example, uh, let's use a uh, month as a decimal number, then percent D for day and percent Y here. So let's see percent M slash percent D slash percent Y. So let's see how this compares to the default output here. So we have month corresponding to this one we have the day and then we have the year uh what is it, what is important here to notice is that what really matters it's the 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 code formats themselves the separators can be anything it could be something like this or a dollar sign for instance and it would it will work so you can uh, move around these these code formats anywhere you want and the conversion will be okay right so just something to have in mind you have a lot of freedom to mess around with this conversion patterns so now i'm gonna take only the time portion so Let's take percent H 
percent M and percent S, right? So a percent H, it's the hour in the 24 hour clock. So there is no AM, PM. We have like 15 hours, 17 hours. Okay. And then minutes and then seconds. Print. Okay. So we have here, we are printing only the time portion. So it's hours, minutes, seconds here. Right. And finally, let's convert by mixing both time and date. So percent A, percent B, space percent D, percent H, percent M, percent S, and then space percent y so in this case it's going to be a weekday it's percent a is for the weekday percent b it's the month name uh, abbreviated percent d is day of the month then this is the time like we did here and then we have the year like we used here okay so Let's print. Oh, I forgot to save. All right. So here it is. Weekday, Saturday, uh, the name of the month abbreviated. So we have June, the day is 12. This is the time, the same we have here and the year 2021. Okay. So this is how you can convert uh, a daytime object into a string with any format you want. So as I said, I could, I just put a, a space here, but uh, this could be a, a pipe, for instance. So you can use any kind of separators or, or move around, like you, you could put percent B first and then percent A, it doesn't matter, it will work uh, anywhere, any way you need. So first I put the, the month and then the weekday. So you can play around and format these outputs the way you need. Okay, so that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you find this useful. Bye.